Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just a quick video today because I want to clarify what I think has been some confusion regarding the latest Firestick update, whereby some people have noticed that the developer options are missing. Now, I'm sure you guys saw my other video on my main channel, and as we saw that on my Firestick light, when I did update to the latest version or the current latest version, you saw that those options were gone. Now, to bring them back, it was very straightforward. Just go to settings, go to MyFi TV, click on about seven times and they come back. Now, the question was, why would Amazon do this all of a sudden? And also, why are other people not seeing this on other devices? Now, I've done quite a bit of testing on this and I think I do have the answer. Now, on my device again, I've just done a clean start, factory reset. This is my Fire Stick Lite. The device is logged in. And if I go over to settings, MyFi TV, again, we can see I have no developer options. In my previous video or in other videos, which I'm sure you've seen, you guys know that if you go to about, click on the Fire Stick Lite a couple of times, and that will then fix the issue. Now, I personally think this was a, an oversight or a slight bug in the software. And if I just show you on the AFTV News uh, website, which is a great resource, Elias um, used to previously work for Amazon, you know, has lots of great knowledge, is a very, very reliable source. And when he wrote this article going through um, what happened, we can see that he mentions that the options were missing. And, um, and this is very similar to what we see on the Android TV devices where out of the box, none of those devices have those options enabled. You need to go through the process of going to settings, clicking on about, going to the build number, and that then enables the developer options. Now, further down, and right now he's actually having issues where YouTube removed his videos. So, I mean, it just shows you how crazy things are at the moment, but I actually left him a message saying that, um, you know, I made this video a few hours ago. Do you think this was a bug because only one of my devices seems to have this issue? Now he's saying he doesn't see this as a bug or an issue. He thinks it was intentional. And it appears that for him, he had it on the Fire Stick Lite and also the Fire Stick 3rd Gen. And he believes that will be coming to you know more models in the future, certainly all of the Fire OS 7 models. Now, the reason why I personally don't believe that is, again, if I go back to my device, we can see here, my developer options were not enabled. Nothing was activated. This was a completely clean device, fresh out of the box, logged in, registered, activated. And we can see on this device, again, no developer options. Now, the reason why I don't think Elias has got this right is I'm not gonna click on about seven times. All I'm going to do is just install the next update. So let me do that now. And what I'm hoping for is once this update completes on this device, it will then automatically restore those developer options. And um, I'm hoping it does do that because in my testing, it definitely did that. But this just proves that when that particular patch version or software version came out, it had this slight bug where if the developer options were not enabled for you, it would then hide them. But all the person needs to do is just go and install the latest update, which then fixes that issue. So we just give that a second. And just while waiting for that to happen, guys, why don't you leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching from in the world. So. It's always interesting to see exactly where in the world people are watching the TD UK videos. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching from. Okay, so my device is now updated. I'm gonna press the back button once. Click on my profile again. You can see it is a little bit sluggish because it is the Fire Stick Live, but if I now go over to settings, go over to My Fire TV, and there they are guys. So I didn't make any changes, didn't click on about or anything else. All I had to do was just install the latest update and that automatically corrected the issue. And this again is why I think that it was a bug. I don't think it was intentional. And the fact that as soon as you update to the latest version, it automatically brings those back. And in fact, we can see if I click on this and this just confirms that the options were off. I never saw them. Nothing's installed on this device as you can see. But again, that certain patch version, when that went onto my device, it hid those options, hid the developer options, but the fix was just to update to the latest version and that automatically brought those back. So 
Hope that clears up some of that confusion. So if you do know anybody that's having this issue, all they need to do is just update to the latest version and that will then automatically bring those options back. And just before you go guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypevanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer and the offer is only for the next two weeks. So if you are interested, definitely have a look in the video description or the pinned comment. I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.